one of these days I'll actually get around to doing a blog. That shows my age that I had to hesitate on saying that. Um, but what I thought I would would do a uh, a video about is Peter Capaldi as the new Doctor. I personally am very excited to see this. Um, I grew up with a Doctor that was much older than the current batch have been. Um, Tom Baker was pretty much my Doctor, although I really liked uh, John Pertwee and Patrick Troughton from what I saw, although they didn't often play too many of his episodes on PBS when I was a kid. It was usually the third and the fourth Doctor. Uh, sometimes you see the fifth, and I wasn't going anywhere near Colin Baker. He just was angry and bitter, and his costume hurt my eyes. I mean, really? Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. It's apparently a story about a Time Lord. Um, but Peter Capaldi reminds me a lot of those days. A more mature doctor that's going to have a very different take on things. Uh, he's obviously an actor with a very varied career behind him, all the way from being in a band uh, with Craig Ferguson, when they were both drug and alcoholics and all that fun stuff, um, to doing Shakespeare and, uh, dang it, that one that he's known for for cursing all the time. Well, there's two, but the main one, when he's the, the political guy. I really should have Wikipedia up in front of me. Off the cuff! Woohoo! Um, I loved how he came out when BBC did the show and did the announcement. Um, the way he came out with his hands up. And there was a uh, picture put out on the internet saying, entering the Hooniverse, you're doing it right. Yeah, if, if you are such a fan that you step out and imitate William Hartnell in the 50th year, and I don't think it was something that had been like, hey, you're going to do this because the BBC overlords say you have to. Um, he's been a fan his entire life. I mean, 15 years old, he's sending in a letter to the Radio Times talking about Dalek kits. You know this guy knows his Doctor Who history um, and is going to want to do right by it. Um, I know some people are complaining because of the old thing. So what? So it's not somebody you want to jump on and bone with. That's fine. He probably doesn't want to have you either. I, it's the doctor. And yeah, okay, the fact that they crossed that line and went, okay, there's a little bit of tension um, between the doctor and his companions. That's fantastic. I mean, there was with Romana, but then she was time lady. And then there was the whole Tom Baker Lala Ward thing that just made the trip to Paris feel like you were looking in on somebody's I like say vacation. Vacation's a good word. Um, so I'm happy to see somebody who's older. I would also love to see uh, them bring River Song back to have interaction with the Doctor. I mean, there's the points where they say she has a spotter's guide. Um, that it's not just the 11th and the 10th for that one moment uh, that she's seen before. Moffat might be stepping in it with some of the stuff he said, but hopefully he can at least iron this bit out. Um, but I'd like to see them together because the actors are of an age um, and a maturity level that I think would make that relationship pop. Uh, it's not a confused doctor like it is in the library, um, and it's not a kid-ish, teenager, awkward, I'm being kissed, <laughs> doctor either. He's going to look at her in a very different light. Um, and a bit of a sad one, I would say. Uh, something that he's done and his reaction. Anyways, sidetrack. I want to see River Song and, and Peter Capaldi's doctor. Uh, interested to see how he reacts with Clara. I think that'll be cool. I think he might step back into that sort of older, knowing thing that they had with William Hartnell and, and maybe with John Pertwee and, and, and Liz Sladen. Uh, that kind of relationship, and I think Clara would be perfect for that. Um, what else? I want to see what quirks he brings to it. Uh, I mean, he's had such a varied life that I can't imagine he will just play it straight. And I don't think he should, because we've come to expect quirkiness from all the new doctors. And not that the old doctors didn't have it either. I mean, Hartnell was a little bonkers, because he was bonkers. And Trenton kind of jumped on board with that and went, yeah, I'm going to throw my expansive Shakespearean talent at you. 
but I'm also going to run around in clown pants and have a recorder until I need to save the world. Um, I would really like to see what he what he brings to the role with that. So we've got Clara, we've got River, Paternoster Row Gang. I always want to see more of them. Uh, yeah, I I think that's pretty much all I have to say. Is I am looking forward to this. Is the first regeneration I've been looking forward to. I I liked Chris Eccleston and. I was still getting used to getting back into the Doctor Who when David Tennant came along. No, I, I like him. He, he's my favorite Doctor so far. And I was sad to see him go, but I enjoyed Matt Smith. Um, it's time for it to change. And in the 50th year to have something kind of go backwards a bit and have an older actor pick it up, I think it's perfect. Um, Moffat, please handle him well. Screw this up and I'll track you down and beat you with a stone angel holding a Dalek who is being ridden by a Cybermen? 